What's up you guys? Shardmas Prime here about to fall over his figures all over again doing another unboxing video. I have a big box over here from Billy Big Bad Toy Store. If you're trying to pick up your action figures, you can do so over at BBTS. Also, this is going to be a Q&A video. Well, the next, not next video, but later on in several days or maybe a week. I don't know when, but I want you guys to post questions for me in this video and then I'll answer it later on in another video. It's been a long time since I've done a Q&A like this. This will give me time to think about my answers. I do live streams, uh, well, it's been a little bit, but you know, this Thursday I did a live stream over on the Rust Toy Reviews channel. Sometimes I, sometimes I get asked questions that are heavily loaded, like, you know, what's your favorite Marvel legend or something like that, or what are your favorite three Spider-Man figures? I don't know, whatever questions you have for me, leave them in the comment section below and I'll pick them out. And I'll answer all kinds of questions. The only thing I ask is that you leave it to one question per person. You know what I mean? So let's leave it to one question per person so that we get everybody, or not everybody's going to get a chance, but it will increase the chances of people getting their questions answered in that next video, or not next video, future video. So Q&A, leave a question for me, and uh, yeah, let's uh, see how that goes. Because, yeah, I've had people ask me questions in live streams, and it's like, oh, I don't... I don't always get to it, so, um, but first off, just to put it out there, the stands I use are Mafex stands. Mafex stands. That's like the, the one thing that I get asked a lot, Mafex stands. All right, big thanks, Big Bad Toy Store, and thank you guys for making this happen right here. Uh, this is some stuff that I've had that isn't, that's been around for a little while that I've had to save up for, and, uh, and make it work so here we go We've got some very very cool figures in here and uh oh my gosh i cannot wait all right okay S spent a lot oh man it's cost so much money but and i had to save up for these i tell you uh but finally i got them yes the core class shockwave and ravage yeah Awesome. Finally have these right here. <laughs> no, this is a very, very cool line. I've been liking the Clark, the core, the core, the core class figures. This is the first time getting them though from the movie with these new boxes. And I think it's very cool. So very, very neat. I'm happy to have these and love my Transformers, especially the Bumblebee movie stuff. And then I have something that I'm very much looking forward to. Um, I blame my sister-in-law and my brother for this. But, holy crap, yeah, all right, I got Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. So finally saw the Demon Slayer movie, uh, it took me a while because I wanted to watch every single minute of every episode of the show, and I got the deluxe version right over here. So there we go, and yeah, man, wow, oh, it looks so sick. God, I love how they have that kind of, I call it like the beautiful Joe animation effect in the show and everything. This is sick. All right, very, very cool. Damn, uh, the product shots look dope. I love this, this Figma packaging for these too. Very, very neat, so I'm going to be reviewing that. Stay tuned, probably we'll pick up more Demon Slayer figures. Uh, shout out to Animated Heroes, by the way. Um, yeah, uh, I think it was his Inetsu review that actually <laughs> made me pick up this one right here. So, uh, Damn you animated heroes. You made me you made me buy a figure, dude. You made me buy a figure. And he and then he this right here. Ooh, very tall hot toys packaging. And got my box cutter right here. Um this, I know exactly what this is. I just didn't expect the box to look like this. But this is another one that I've had for a minute. And Oh my goodness. Whoa, come on, hot boys. Bucks. Let's. Yeah. Spider Gwen, Spider Gwen. Ghost Spider, not Spider Gwen. But yeah. Hot toys into the Spider Verse. Ghost Spider or Spider Gwen. It's Spider Gwen, though, right? Is it technically labeled? It is technically Spider Gwen. So yeah, that looks like it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, the posability looks pretty sweet on this figure. I haven't seen any reviews on it. But I know how it looks, and Hot Toys delivers. I don't even know how to open up this box right Oh, it's just a sleeve. And you can't see her face, but you can see the figure inside there a little bit. 
Very cool. So definitely going to be reviewing this. And I have one more box in here. And it's a big one. Yeah. One more Hot Toys figure right over there. Very, 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 very excited for this one. I've been wanting this forever. And I'm glad I made the choice to pick this one up over here because I didn't pick up the first end game version. I got the second end game version, which I think is the much cooler of the of the two. And I have the Infinity War Thanos, but this right here is the battle damaged end game Thanos. And wow. Big box. Very, very big box. I'm literally surrounded by cardboard in here and I don't know how I'm gonna get out but oh man look at that very very cool oh man so heavy whoa wow oh what is your favorite of the two infinity war or endgame I'm very biased towards endgame for obvious reasons and I've mentioned it too many times, but oh my god, this looks amazing. Oh, look at that! Woo! All right, you guys, I am very excited about this. I'm gonna put this sleeve right back over here. So again, please feel free to ask me questions. Um, I miss being able to connect with my viewers. It does hurt my soul, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I used to do meet and greets and all kinds of stuff, and it's just, I don't know. I feel disconnected from you guys. I really do. Like, I really feel like there's just a little bit of... Uh, on my end, it may not be on your end, but to me, I feel a little bit of a loss. A lot, a lot of disconnect from my viewership because I've been spoiled before COVID being able to see you guys face-to-face -face a lot. So, um, really hope to get out there soon. There's supposed to be a toy show in the Bay Area coming in March. Hopefully that still goes on, but I hope everybody is staying safe out there. Leave a question for me in the comment section below. Hopefully I hear from you and that video will go up later on. I don't know exactly when, but you'll find out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. I'm a little bit tired, but we're gonna keep on rolling, man. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.